Hello, and welcome back to another episode of White Album 2. We are currently playing through Kodo. And once morning came, everything sounds so calm and nice right now. It's not going to last, but for now it's calm and nice. Until I shook her awake, Kazusa slept with such a peaceful look on her face. The same peaceful look that the girl I loved used to have when she would doze off in the classroom seat next to mine. And happy in-game Valentine's Day, a very important date for all parties involved. ただいまるすにしております。ご用の方は発信音の後にメッセージをお願いします。お、あるか。久しぶりやな。覚えとる俺のこと。ほら、早坂。早坂近し。付属の3年時同じクラスやったやん。近し。<笑> He was the black-haired dude who, well, in the game, he was actually pretty pleasant to Haruki. Outside of the game, if you read the novels, they used to fight a lot before they started getting along. Look at you go! You got those nice fancy tickets. I wonder what one ticket would have cost. I don't think they ever reveal that. I'm pretty sure they don't. But I don't think it would be very cheap, considering they sell out within an hour. I don't think that's gonna happen either. Well, you don't know the whole story. So sweet. And also in Japan, it's not uncommon for coworkers to give each other chocolates, especially girls to boy or women to men. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic thing, as is the case with Suzuki-san. Obligatory. Suzuki-san lines up pieces of chocolate on the desk of us guys, almost like giving away souvenirs from some business trip. Basically, one ball of Hawaiian macadamia nuts chocolate each. And in Japan, the most famous macadamia nut chocolate is actually very cheap. It's like 200 yen a box, so like $1.80 for a box, so it's definitely not expensive chocolate. <laughs> Even so, I can't really complain, as compared to a certain someone from one of my previous part-time jobs, who gave everyone one single tiny piece of Choco Baby each. <laughs> this is actually quite generous. Choco Baby is a kid's snack. You can get it for, I want to say 30 yen for a teeny box of it, and the balls are like super tiny, like M&M sized, so that's pretty pathetic. <laughs> わたし今ろくろ屋のバームクーヘンにハマってんだ。請求の地下にあるんだけど、いつも1時間待ちで。なあ、来たから。俺が金半分出すから、お前は並んで来てくれよな。素直にお前買ってきてくれ。割り勘
できれば誤差プラスマイナス1くらいで答えてほしいんだけど<笑>なんでそんなことそんな精度で喋らなくちゃならないんですかだって浜田さんは娘にもらったチョコ自慢しかしないし木崎さんも結婚決めちゃって食いつき悪くなったしさ勝負できそうなのお前ぐらいしかいないんだよ俺が聞いてるのはどうしてそんなことで勝負しなくちゃならないかなんですが especially considering Haruki has a fiance それがまっちゃんの先輩としてのプライドなんでしょそりゃ仕事で打ち負かせと言ってやりたいけどね何言ってんですかマリさんに手取り足取り鍛えられた北原に俺が勝てるわけないでしょ I miss マリさん I wish she was still living here 2年先輩がこの言い草あんただってマリさんに頭下げてお願いしてたらとことんまで鍛えてくれたのにそうかなマリさん北原のこと特別扱いしてた気がするけど<笑> No never why would she why would she even そりゃあまあお気に入りの男の子だったことだけは確かだけどねそのうちアメリカにまでお呼びがかかるかも出先行ってきます今日はそのまま直帰ですから If I spend any more time with these people on a day as festive as today, I feel like I'm going to have a bad time, so I run away from my post. And there is also another reason to leave work early. I haven't bought a birthday present yet. <laughs> you fool! It's her birthday! You can't just not buy a birthday present until her birthday. Even though I'd been invited to the Ogiso household tonight. That'll be fun. The last dinner with her family was so much fun. Kanke says, I can't know who you must do. Kazusa san, what tell Kegaste? Jikai Koe Made any money on I come see night to car. Eh, so no yona koto arimasen. Tashkani Zenkai Koe go, take a bini scoshi taminga deta yo desna. Genza a canchi stay masano de. Zenkai no consato deva, each with a condition for you to hold those arimasta. その痛みによるものだったということでしょうかそれも違います痛み出したのはコンサート後で<笑>とにかく次回は最高のパフォーマンスをお約束します It's good that they didn't try to use that as a cover up I mean it would be easily disproven but it would have been an okay cover up やはり前回は良い演奏ではなかったとそんなことは言ってません前回よりもさらに良いものを目指すのは当然でしょうスライというようなお話をカズサさん自身からお伺いしたかったのですがそれはすみませんね今朝になって急に体調が優れないと連絡がありまして本当ですか私の発言はトーマカズサの公式のものと報じていただいて構いませんそれでも何か問題がおありでとある他社さんからの取材にはかなり頻繁に応じていらっしゃるようですけど<笑>トントントンあらご存知今度アンサンブルから彼女の特集号が出るんですのよ記事の中でもぜひ取り上げてくださると嬉しいですわ<笑>そろそろ時間ですわね今日はわざわざありがとうございましたすいませんこんな大変な時なのに無理して来ていただいてミオちゃんあの子の取材は勝手に受けないでって言ったでしょいつこういうことが起こるかわからないんだから本当に申し訳ありません昨日までは短い時間なら問題ないと言ってたのでそれであの子と連絡はついたそれが。And of course, Kazusa just decides to disappear off the map. What a troublesome, troublesome.、Uh, well, daughter is not the word I'm looking for. I guess if you're trying to manage her underling? I don't know. 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 
諸刃の剣なんだけどね。Exactly. Half the time he just makes things worse. It's 7 p.m. Now, with work finally done. No, I was already finished by 5 o'clock. I finally managed to get a present. Though, as expected, it took me about two hours to pick one. You know, for someone who's as diligent as Haruki, I mean, supposedly, I might argue that a little, it's so obnoxious that he always waits till the day of to buy a present and it takes him hours. Like, just pick one or just ask the shopkeeper for the recommendation. Either way, I've taken care of all my business for today, and now I'll be heading over to take care of the most important business of all Setsuna's birthday party, the Ogiso home party, as well as my official meeting with her parents about our decision. <gasps> oh man.、Um, it's exciting, but it's scary. <laughs> Setsuna didn't say a word about wanting that. Instead, she merely accepted my resolve with a smile and tears in her eyes. And her friends spurred it on relentlessly. Even now, they send texts about the state of affairs every day. But it's not like my resolve came from being forcibly pushed on by them. Also, that's Setsuna's name on the caller ID. It's just that since I left the Ogiso household last time with nothing but vague statements, common sense dictates that today I'm supposed to declare some intent. Yeah, it would have been nice for you to do it in the moment, but I guess better late than never? Not to mention the fact that no one around Setsuna and me is showing the slightest sign of letting this topic go. At least, not on the surface. While indulging myself in these thoughts, I sent a text not to Setsuna, but Sakamoto Sumiki. Come on, you have things you have to do priorities. That's what they're called. They're called priorities. You gotta take care of things, like your fiance. I had planned to go home today since it's a weekday, but today I have to text her a two, meaning I can't come home today. Because today, of all days, I can't look Kazusa straight in the eyes. I just can't look at her today when Setsuna and I are about to take our first defining step. Haruki. It always took eight rings for me to get to the answering machine. Yet now I got connected after just two rings. Haruki. Kozuso. And instead of the regular monotone voice of the operator, I hear a deep, quiet voice. <laughs> It sounds like she's trying to speak calmly, but failing utterly. In other words, it's as if she's trying to laugh only to instead cry. It's a voice that directly informs me of how uneasy she is. Yeah, well, you know, it's Valentine's Day. And even though she's your side piece, she still wants attention. And it's Setsuna's birthday. Like, come on. She had kept it bottled up for the most part these past few days. Except for last night when she was bawling. Do you not remember that? She ate her meals. She laughed in her own way. During the day, she had returned to playing the piano and going about her normal life. At night, we made love tenderly and kissed. We swore that we'd enjoy our remaining time together, but. Oh, 
わいの言葉伝えないとって。Oh, that's, that's, that's sad. セツナの誕生日のこと<笑>セツナとハルケリ婚約おめでとうって。How do you know about that? How could you possibly know about that when you have no bonds in Japan with anyone but me? You're wrong. That was a decision I made to turn away from you before things between us could end up like this. Compared to back then, I'm no longer. No matter how many excuses I make, not even I will be convinced, much less Kazusa. <laughs> I'm the one who pressed forward this engagement, despite my relationship with Kazusa. No, actually, I think proper way would be to reverse that sentence. I'm the one that pressed forward a relationship with Kazusa, despite my engagement. I think that would read a lot more sensibly. And I still don't think that I'm making a mistake in going through with it. You absolute and utter fool. So, let me ask you. Now, where are you? I'm still in my room. Stop it. Stop it. Even though I knew my lie could be found out, I made love to her in my apartment and left her there sleeping. Why are you going to go to Setsuna's house? I'm going to go to Setsuna's house. In other words, in the end, I'm the one who's made Kazusa sad again. I'm not sure if those last words made it to Kazusa or not. I'm even less certain if my feelings made it over to Kazusa or not. My mind understands perfectly that I'm losing my composure. But when it comes to Kazusa, my arms and legs don't care one bit about what my mind thinks. Sitna. My mouth? Only capable of spewing the most despicable falsehoods is in complete control of my heart. <sighs> Listen, even if he's not, even if he weren't cheating on her, the fact that they had scheduled this is not only Valentine's Day, it's also Setsuna's birthday, it's also the day that he was going to tell her parents. That they're getting married. This is a huge day. And to be like, sorry, they asked me to stay late at work. Like, no. Tell them no. Tell them you can't stay late. It's a very important day for you. Like, he is such a jerk. And that's 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 the cheating aside. He still deserves to be broken up with. Pile on the cheating? Just incredible. Sarija. <sighs> And she's still smiling. Yeah, and realistically, he should have also. Sonna, 
刹那の方が変に張り切りすぎなんだだいたい今日は木曜日だぞそう簡単に早く帰れる男の方が頼りにならん No, don't be like that That's Japanese working culture Not healthy, not good 遅くまで働いた方が偉いとかもうそんな時代じゃないでしょうに私は家庭を大事にしてくれる人の方がいいわねてかあからさまにホッとしてるよね父さんどうせいつかは通らなくちゃならない道なのに t a k e h i r o is so blunt it's so funny to me if every character were like t a k e h i r o there would be no miscommunications everything would be simple Stand up from my seat, and a middle aged woman holding on to one of the hanging straps looks at me worriedly. This woman had given up her priority seat to me. So, the priority seats in Japanese subways and trains are for old people, or for disabled people, or sick people, or pregnant people. So, for someone to give up their seat to Haruki means he looks absolutely disastrous. It seems even people around me could notice how abnormally soaked in sweat I was. Mamuraku, Minami Setsugu, Minami Setsugu, Odeguchiwa, Hidari Gawani Narimas. The moment I got on the train, lots of changes occurred in my body. I had a headache. And I felt nauseous and cold. My heart started beating like an alarm bell, and the way my hand was shaking as it clung onto one of the hanging straps was almost comedic. At first, I thought that the heating was just too strong and that I was going to get used to the warmth and feel better. But my temperature wasn't caused by something so simple. As I looked around, I could see that the people around me were noticing just how pale I was. And as I got closer to my destination, my condition got worse and worse. As I got closer to the station, one stop before Suetsugucho, my true destination. When I got onto the platform, I was overtaken by an awful numbness in my whole body. My feet forced themselves to get off the train, but my head alone pretended to not be there. But it's all too late. I made my choice the moment I called Setsuna. I chose to do the same thing I did five years ago. During Setsuna's birthday, during our most important anniversary. Yep.、Yeah. And it's always been that he's betrayed Setsuna on her birthday, and this is no exception. I chose to betray Setsuna again. Like, really, literally, of all days. Like, you can't even stop this awful cheating for one day on Valentine's Day on her birthday? Like, despicable, honestly. I was sure that the ground below my feet wasn't moving anymore, yet now it feels like I'm floating above it. I want to sit down on a bench and rest, so I can let the wind blow against my body, so I can stop this sweating and headache, even if it means I have to endure this awful chill. <laughs> But I don't have time for that. I have no time to take care of myself. I have to cross the ticket gate as soon as I can. I have to go home quickly. I have to catch Kazusa. The cold wind I was waiting eagerly for on the train blows powerfully from above the platform stairs. But because I had to go against that wind and get off the platform, I felt nothing but hatred toward the dry, cold wind blowing in my face. My chill is getting worse by the minute. And my headache and my sweating aren't getting any better either. 
So, I could only pray that it won't be snowing when I get out. I could only pray that the scenery wouldn't be like back then. <sighs> I considered calling a taxi, despite the fact that going home on foot usually only takes five minutes, but that dilemma turned out to be pointless. Oh, come on. You know you wanted to see her as soon as possible. Now you get an extra five minutes together. <laughs> Did she try to escape from me? Did she come so she could see me earlier? Kaizo, <laughs> Or was she overwhelmed by both desires and found herself unable to remain in the apartment? I can feel the sweat on my body drying off. The burning heat that engulfed my body begins to cool, and along with it, my head begins to clear up. Because she's your medicine, as dangerous as that is. I mean, she's not wrong. I begin to feel vigor in my limbs again, little by little, and my mental faculties return to me. She is, like, actually harming herself by trying to shift all the blame off of Haruki and give him an escape, but it's not healthy. Kazusa, I shouldn't be worrying about my own body right now. The one I should be protecting is Kazusa. Sorry, but there is no such path. Somebody's gonna get hurt no matter what he does. But the fact that he's just continuing the facade is just gonna make it way, way worse, so... <laughs> Putting myself down for the sake of protecting Kazusa's heart is nothing to me. I mean, granted she probably shouldn't have made that phone call. I understand it was out of grief and not out of actual congratulations. That's a lovely place to have such a deep conversation. You know everybody around is listening. Like, what drama? <gasps> and they're in the, in the way of the escalator, which is a big no-no in Japan. I mean, anywhere, really, but especially Japan, where everything is supposed to be orderly. <laughs> okay, and this is a lovely place to stop for now. 
So, thanks so much for joining me on this episode of White Album 2's Coda, and I'll be back with the next one shortly. Until then, hope you take care. See you!